would like to exchange a gracious and On behalf of Maripo Host Writing and Polo Association, would like to extend a gracious welcome and uh, greetings to our respected Chief Guest, President and Guest of Honor. We welcome you everyone on this fifth day of 14th Maripo Polo International 2022. Now we'd like to request Dr. T.H. Kiran Baladevi, Member, Maripo Host Writing and Polo Association, to do the honor of felicitating our respected Chief Guest, President and Guest of Honor. Ikai Kumnajari with Dr. T. H. Kiran Bala Devi, Member, Manipo Host Writing and Polo Association, Nasigit Horamasigi Chief Guest, President and Guest of Honor, Gima from the Lengyan Beach, Kudul Tambiduna Ikai Kumnana Bagida Magda, Nalukna Hangachari. First to our respected Chief Guest, Lieutenant General K. K. Repswal, SM, VSM, Chief of Staff, Headquarters, Eastern Command. Thank you so much. We welcome you, sir, next to respected President H. Dilip Singh, IAS, retired, honorary president, Manipur Host Writing and Polo Association. Next, Major General Rajan Saravat, VSM, Inspector General Assam Rifles, South. Next, we'd like to welcome Brigadier S.J. Tiwari, officiating GOC 57 Mountain Division and Shri Sandeep Datta, IGP, M and N Sector, CRPF, and Shri BK Jha, IG Frontier Headquarter, M and C, BSF. Madhang Yesina Ikai Kumnajariba, Lieutenant Colonel L. Manongba, retired. The Ikai Kumnaba, Nolupagalinana, Nolupna Hangachari. Ikai Kumnajariba, Nasigi Thoramasigi, Chief Guest Kima from the Kokiet Ama, Kudol Tambina Bagidamakta. Doing the honor of presenting a coquette to Lieutenant General K.K. Repswal is Lieutenant Colonel L. Manongba, retired. Thank you so much. Matanga Nolukna Hangachari, Shri K. Chandra Kumar Sharma. Shri K. Chandra Kumar Sharma, Nangasigi Thoramasigi, President of Inalingshin Biriba. Shri Ace Dilip Singh, IAS, retired. Honorary President, Manipur Host Writing and Polo Association, Gima from the Kokiyatama, Kudul Tambigani. Doing the honor of presenting a Kokiyat is Shri K. Chandra Kumar Sharma. Thank you so much for doing the honor. Next, we'd like to request Shri N. Tombi Raj. Respected Shri N. Tombi Raj. To Major General Rajan Sharawat, VSM, Inspector General Assam Rifles, South. Presenting a traditional headgear of Manipuri to Major General Rajan Sharawat, VSM, Inspector General Assam Rifles, South. Next, we'd like to request Shri K. Dhanachandra Sharma. 
to present a cocktail to our respected guest of honor, Brigadier S. J. Tiwari, officiating GOC 57 Mountain Division. Thank you so much for doing the honor. And next, we'd like to request Sri N. Ibungo Chobi to present a cocktail to Sri Sandeep Datta. IGP M and N sector CRPF. Shri Sandeep Datta, IGP M and N sector CRPF. Thank you so much. And next, we'd like to request to L. Ibohan B. Kungshil Naha to present the co kit to Shri. BK Jha IG Frontier Headquarter MNC BSF Dr L Ibohan B Kungshil Naha is doing the honor of presenting a cocktail to Sri BK Jha IG Frontier Headquarter MNC BSF Matangiasina, Tauramasigi, Chana Bio Moina, Equina, Tamjariba, Potlan Begi, Tanjadu, Lozari, and would like to request our respected chief guest, president, and guest of honor to receive the items that is being brought by uh, ladies. It's a tradition of presenting the eatables, that is, fruits, vegetables to our respected chief guest and president as doing the owner. Would like to request our respected chief guest, president and guest of owners to receive this. Thank you so much. May I now have the privilege to request our respected Chief Guest, Lieutenant General K.K. Rexwal, SM, VSM, Chief of Staff, Headquarters, Eastern Command, to address the gathering of the 50th or 14th Manipur Palo International 2022. Shri Dilip Singh, IS, the Honorable President of Manipur Horse Riding and Polo Association, Major Rajan Sharavat, VSM, GOC, IGR South, SJ Tiwari, Officiating GOC 57, Mountain Division, Shri Sandeep Datta, IGP MNN, Sector CRPF, Shri BK Jha, IG Frontier Headquarters, MNC, 
बी एस एफ लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन इट गिव मी मेन्स प्लेजर टू बी हेयर ऑफ द इन्वाइट बाय द मणिपुर राइटिंग एंड पोलो एसोसिएशन एंड आई कैन टेल यू दिस इज माई सेकेंड और थर्ड विजिट हेयर फर्स्ट टाइम आई केम हेयर इन द लॉन्च फॉर द डोर कप एंड देन ड्यूरिंग द इनग्रल मैच वन द ऑनरेबल रक्षा मंत्री वॉज हेयर वी वर प्रजेंट हेयर एंड आई आई कैन टेल यू हाउ थ्रिल्ड आई फील टू सी द लव फॉर स्पोर्ट्स बाय द पीपल ऑफ मणिपुर बिलीव मी लेडीज एंड जेंटमैन आई नेवर एक्सपेक्टेड द रेस्पॉन्स दैट वी रिसीव फॉर डोर एंड कप इट वॉज फिनल and i am sure you all must feel proud that uh, my total attendance in durant cup at manipur was much higher than even calcutta whereas we have shifted that even to calcutta a lot of credit to that i must give to the honorable chief minister shri biryan singh and the various associations now coming to this particular uh, the saying uh, it's a great honor to be here because i just learned that this is the oldest polo club in the world and like we all see uh, this manipuri pony i am sure at one time it played a very important part like all animals in the life of normal uh, uh, people definitely for the defense forces but with modernization which mechanization that have come into it all these animals are now losing their relevance so it's a very great initiative taken by the manipur riding and polo association and the state government in conducting an event like this i can tell you i belong to rajasthan and there used to be a hardly any household who never had a camel but nowadays because of these new vehicles which have come up there's hardly any household which is now owning a camel so similar i'm sure is the condition here for this manipuri pony and uh, i i personally feel that the present generation we owe it to our future generations and we must preserve this towards that it's a great uh, effort by the government of uh, manipur and the manipur riding and polo association in organizing a event of this stature i am told that then uh, joseph corat sherer who is acknowledged as the father of english polo he made excellent contributions in introducing this and i am told that the british actually have popularized this but uh, they had initially learned the game of polo from the manipuris uh, towards the keeping this animal uh, relevant i am also told that the manipur government has also now decided to have a mounted police force which is going to utilize the services of uh, uh, horse power and which will help um, us in preserving this uh, you are all well aware of and uh, that we in the defense forces uh, we promote lot of uh, riding and polo and whatever efforts are required by the state government i am sure we are always there for it manipur has got a place in the um, in the national sports arena when i came here for launch of the durant cup i learned that as on date there were about 47 players from manipur playing in the 11 indian super league teams which is the top uh, clubs we had never expected the kind of response but you know the max if you see the number of sportsmen who are winning medals at the national level maximum contributions for manipur it gives me immense pleasure by coming here and this is my third visit and i'm really very grateful to the manipur riding and polo association for having invited me to this event and i wish the event a great success and i wish the people here all the very best in your sporting events i can tell you uh, after seeing the response that we received for the durant cup this year uh, durant cup is going to be an annual feature in uh, imphal for the years to come thank you very much jai hind
Thank you so much, respected Chief Guest, Lieutenant General K.K. Rev. Swal, SM, VSM, Chief of Staff, Headquarters, Eastern Command, for your remarkable speech as our Chief Guest. Thank you so much once again. May I now have the privilege to request Shri Ace Dilip Singh, IAS Retired, Honorary President, Manipur Writing and Palo Association, to present the presidential speech. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, you are all aware that we are in the midst of the conduct of the 14th Manipur Polo International 2022. Over the years, the Manipur Horse Riding and uh, Polo Association has set the precedence to earmark a particular day to honor our long cherished relationship with the uniform services particularly the Indian Army and Assam Rifles. More recently, our association with the CRPF has also been improving and strengthening. We look forward to similar association with the BSF as well. In keeping with this tradition, this day, the 26th November, is dedicated to the Armed Forces and Uniformed Services. It is therefore my privilege to welcome Lieutenant General K.K. Repswall, SM, VSM, Chief of Staff, Headquarters, Eastern Command, as the Chief Guest of Day 5 of the tournament, who is present amongst us despite his busy schedule. Let me also welcome Major General Rajan Sharawat, VSM, Inspector General Assam Rifles South, as Guest of Honor. I think it appropriate to mention that Assam Rifles has been sponsoring the DZAR Equestrian Championship. In fact, the 16th DZAR Equestrian Championship and the 10th Junior State Equestrian Championship 2019 was the last in the series for understandable reasons. Our sister organization, namely the Manipur Equestrian Association, is responsible for conducting the above championships. Understandably, this unique championship had to remain suspended till date due to the pandemic. Hence, I take this opportunity to request the Assam Rifles for revival of this important and keenly followed championship at the earliest possible opportunity, sir. It may be mentioned that our boys quite regularly win medals in the national games whenever equestrian is included as an event. Our horsemen are particularly skillful in tent pegging events and they have not let us down so far. Our association with the 57 Mountain Division dates back deep and long. It had given us vehicular and valuable logistic supports whenever our equestrian or polo teams had to move out of the state for participation in championship events or for participation in exhibition polo matches, particularly along with ponies. They had invariably activated their network of outposts along the particular routes for rendering all possible support for which we have always remained grateful. In the above context, it is with extreme warmth and delight that I take this opportunity to welcome Brigadier S.J. Tiwari, officiating GOC 57 Mountain Division, and hope that MHRPA would continue to receive your valuable goodwill and support in the times to come too. Now, allow me to welcome Sri Sandeep Datta, IGP m and Sector, CRPF. It must be acknowledged that the CRPF in recent years has been taking interest in polo and has accordingly raised a polo team that participated in the first district polo tournament of Bishnupur district, wherein the Assam Rifles emerged as champion and the CRPF, the runners-up of the district. We hope, we hold great anticipation for the prospects of these teams. 
let me extend a warm welcome to Sri BK Jha, IG Frontier HQM and C, BSF. The people of Manipur warmly recognize the critical role played by the BSF in restoring law and order in the state. Our association aspires to increase the str and strengthen the footprints of polo and equestrian sports. We would therefore request the BSF also kindly to consider for raising the respective teams in the BSF. Thank you for your kind presence in our midst today. Ladies and gentlemen, it may not be very far from the truth to mention that the game of polo, so intrinsic to the history and culture of Manipur, had virtually evaporated for, from its birthplace by the late 1980s. It may be placed on record that our association, namely the Manipur Horse Riding and Polo Association, has played a key role in the reinvigoration and revival of polo since around 1990. The linkage of the evolution and maturing of our association on the one hand and the revival and promotion of polo on the other is quite tangible. Now, for more than, now more than 30 local teams participate in our state-level polo tournaments. Besides, we have introduced state-level women polo tournament recently to encourage women players. The unmissable corollary is that the number of polo players in the state is ever increasing. Contrary to the norm elsewhere in India and the world, our polo and equestrian players do not belong to the elite sections of society, but represent generally from the weaker strata of society. They struggle to make ends meet. Their love of horses and the game is the only underlying point and spirit. Let me therefore conclude with an earnest appeal to the dignitaries present today, kindly to view the plight of our players with understanding and open up more opportunities for their recruitment in the various services that will go a long way in the eventual promotion of polo and equestrian sports in the long run. Lastly, I welcome all the dignitaries, their accompanying officials and families. I also extend a warm welcome to all the spectators who have turned up to watch the matches and hope they, will, they would all enjoy the same. Jai Hind. Thank you, sir. Now, for the actions to follow, I would like to request the uh, umpires, Mr. Phil Seller from United Kingdom, and the Salam Viking from India. Now I call on Captain Epi Singh from the Indian Navy. Give a round of applause, Captain Navy. <laughs> Lieutenant Arun. Lieutenant Arun. Commander Panchal Altaf Khan. For IPA, and Major Aman Singh. The Santosh Hurali Ramse Purohid, and I would like to request uh, the umpires to kindly line up our players for our dignitaries. Now, I would like to request our president, Sri H. Dilip Singh, to kindly take our dignitaries to be introduced to our players. I would like the players to come a little in front, just a couple of yards, where we can have our dignitaries be introduced to our players, and we are Indeed, very happy to have the Indian Navy for the very first time at this very soil. We are indeed very thankful to the entire Indian Navy for sending a team for the first time. We are indeed very privileged to have Lieutenant General K.K. Ripswal, SMVSM Chief of Staff, Headquarters Eastern Command, as our chief guest. The team in red bib is the IPA, the Indian A. First in line, the young player, Purohit. Santosh, Hurali. And the team captain, Major Aman Singh. Major Aman Singh from the cavalry. Phil Seller from United Kingdom, Viking Salam from India, and number three, Pancho. Number one. And number four, Captain Epi Singh. 
Number two is Arun. Number one is Altaf. We have had where uh, we uh, miss uh, Lieutenant Commander Rasi, one of the promising players uh, from the Indian Navy. He cannot be here because he had a massive fall in the match. Thank you. I would like to request our chief guest to kindly throw in the ball to mark the beginning of the match. We are indeed very happy to have Lieutenant General KK Repswal, SMVSN Chief of Staff, Headquarters, is in command. Now, I would like to request uh, our chief guest to kindly throw in to begin the match, the match between Indian Navy and IPA. Contrary, that begins the match. In fact, uh, we are so happy that the Indian Navy, having sent its team for the very first time, Ahure, Uh, it's a 60 yard penalty. Number four, that is uh, a major Raman Singh, team captain for the IPA, taking a stroke. We'll take the 60 yard hit. And, uh, beginning of the first checker, Major Raman Singh. Major Raman Singh. It is very little difficult in that color to find out uh, who exactly the player is. The result of it's uh, hitting. And uh, once again, uh, for the viewers, the next match will be between the United States of America and India B. That is the local boys. Hurali number three. Two goal, a handicap goal. A very promising player in the polo playing circuit. Lieutenant Arun. That is number three. Panchal for India Navy. It is for the first time that the Indian Navy has come to Manipur to take part at this Polo International. And number one. Altaf Khan taking the ball. Number one again. And beautifully saved by Santosh. And in fact, uh, it is a, it is indeed a big. This is number one, Santosh for IPA. Santosh number one tap taking in. It is uh, wide. The response from the polo playing nations after the COVID pandemic was so encouraging that we were happy. We had to move our heads, we had to move our feet to make this very even happen after 2019. The IPA, the Indian Navy, first respond to our invitation after the law. We are so happy to see Mrs. Miranda the mother of George, the Mentin captain, and uh, Madam Tina. The officiating umpires who rally number three for IPA, Lieutenant Arun. Checking who are the number three for IPA rally. Oh, that is a slave at the goal mouth. A beautiful save by the Indian captain, Navy captain, AP Singh.
Nasi poinu ki humni pan banu mit thangja chathari ba taraga mari suba Manipur polo international ki mangani chand banu mit. Howzi howzi ek sandari ba team sen India Navy amadi IPA India A howzi sandari ba mang balit pa asina IPA ni aduga mau ba amadi atia matugi purit asina India Navy. Mukta dhanu sing jage India Navy ki player sing number one da Altaf Khan number two da Lieutenant Arun. And that is Hurali, number three from IPA. A beautiful match that is Santosh Panchal Ashwin from Indian Navy. Beautifully saved by Hurali. First chakra, nil, nil. Hurali. Captain Epi Singh, Ashwin. Number three, Commander Ashwin from Indian Navy. Uh, captain Epi Singh, the Indian Navy captain. A cool campaigner, a very seasoned player. Finding it difficult to adjust with our little ponies. However, they adopted very fast in the last couple of days. The England team quite prepared right two days before the tournament to acquaint themselves with the ground and the ponies. Number four, that is Captain Epi Singh. Captain Epi Singh, it is Mazuraman Panchal, number three, Panchal. Oh, that is just, just a yard away from the Eastern goalpost. Indian Navy giving a tough fight. We are so happy that uh, one of the biggest defense institutions of the country, Indian Navy, Sending a team for the first time at this very ground, Manipur Polo International. And people in Manipur are quite amazed and amused to see the Indian Navy who would be in the sea and playing polo game. In fact, we should know that the Indian forces, whether it is the Air Force, the Navy or the Army, do have all the adventure activities, air, land and water. And of course, uh, the red bib jersey in the IPA. And once again, for the viewers, uh, the proceedings of the entire 14 Manipur Polo International being brought live by the national television network Durdarshan and being streamed live too. And you can see the telecast at 8 p.m. in Imphal Jideka channel. That is number one, Altaf Khan for Navy. A beautiful back and stroke, looking for a friend. Captain Epi Singh, Indian team captain, being challenged by Hurali. Captain Epi Singh, one of the most seasoned polo players in the Navy circuit. Arun. Mezaraman Singh. Mezaraman Singh, the captain of the IPA team, looking for some toss. Number one. Living it for Hurali. Hurali. Hurali one of the most promising players in the Indian polo circuit, handicap two for IPA. That, that is the first goal for IPA. I could not exactly see the number, the gentleman in the white helmet. Can you please raise your helmet? I want to see the number. Please turn your backside. That is number two. Sorry, am I right? Number one, Ramse Purohit. Number two. Number two, that was Ramse Purohit. I'm looking at him. I'm looking for Captain Epi Singh. A foul call by the umpire. The officiating umpires, the mounted umpires for today's first match is uh, Phil Seller from United Kingdom and Viking Salam from India. Phil Seller from United Kingdom and Viking Salam. The first checker, India A1, Indian Navy nil. Thank you. 
the Manipur Horse Riding and Polo Association has been organizing the polo tournaments. In fact, almost for the last 40 years at this very ground. The first being the N. Hazari, Dr. N. Hazari, N. Hazari and Dr. N. Tombi State Tournament and the prestigious Governor's Cup. The first, the first Manipur Polo International was launched in the year 1991. Good afternoon, ma'am. Nice to see you. Beginning month of October till we have the rain coming in, that would be the last of uh, March or April. This very ground has exciting polo matches from different parts of the state. At one time, the Manipur Horse Riding and Polo Association, we have an open, open polo tournament. We had as many as 52 local polo clubs taking part at the N. Hazari and Dr. Tombi State Polo Tournament. That is Captain APC taking a strike, looking for Pancho. Number two, Arun. Arun. Lieutenant Arun from the Navy. Arun. Being challenged by Mr. Aman Singh. 30 seconds to go. The very first gong. Mr. Aman Singh. Arun, the Navy. The IPA. And it's a wide. For the benefit of the viewers, the very August gathering, we would like to go back a little in time. There used to be a game called Sagol Kanje played by our ancestors. In fact, today we have the Pana Sagol Kanje, which is played seven aside. However, in the past, there were no limit of players as we see as we open the past history of our ancestors. Seven aside. There are a few little rules in our game. The entire length, the entire breadth of the ground is considered the goal post. The goal post did not exist in our ancestors' uh, matches those days where our ancestors used to play. There were no rules as we hear. One of the most interesting aspects of the Sagol Kanje is, uh, is a player that can pick up the ball and run and gallop. However, to score, you have to drop the ball and you have to score the ball. The only tragedy of the set part. One good part of the Manipuri Sagol Kamje is as you play the game, you can pick up the ball, you can gallop. However, to score, you have to drop the ball and hit to score. However, as you carry the ball in your hand, the entire body becomes the ball and the opportunity has the right to hit the body of the player and that is why it was considered one of the most ferocious and dangerous games and I would like to call our president Sri H. Dilip Singh to kindly give our beautifully designed necktie to our dignitaries. I would like to request Sri H. Dilip Singh, our president to kindly present our necktie to our guests and dignitaries. This is one of the natural ties that we have designed for MHRPA and I would request all our ladies and gentlemen that as you come in today's evening program, we would like to see this very tie in the evening program. This is a very specially designed MHRPA tie with the accent, with the acceptance of the Society of Manipur where the design is royal. That will begin. Score India A1. India B yet to open the account. The Mounted Affairs officiating the very first game, the very first match is Phil Seller from the United Kingdom and Salam Viking, India.
uh, Captain Epi Singh are looking for Panchal, number three, and that is number two, Arun for Indian Navy. Panchal, Mrs. Hurali, a beautiful backhand near side drive. This is Captain Epi Singh for Indian Navy, a team captain, a cool campaigner, a very seasoned player. It's a foul committed by Purohit. That will be shot in Captain Epi Singh, Indian Navy captain. As I was saying that our ancestors used to play a go game called Sagon Kanje and practically we read and find and some people define that is the Navy number four I'm saying the Mary the gold mouth that the tassel Hurali Captain A.P. Singh defending the wall for Indian Navy at this very polo ground, at this not the sea. Aptra, Aptra Hati. Captain A.P. Singh bringing the Indian Navy. Looking for Arun. A beautiful tactics. Looking for Arun. Defending the Santos number two for uh, IPA. A beautiful drive. And that is uh, Mazar Raman Singh. Mazar Raman Singh. Altaf Khan. Number one. Arun. Happy scene. A punch out. That was the beard. Oh, that is just a little wide. IPA India. One in the Navy nil. The entire proceeding of the 14 Manipur Bolo International being brought live by our country's national television channel Durdashan throughout the length and breadth of the country. Some of our friends calling from different parts of the country and being privileged to see these very matches live from their drawing rooms and respective uh, offices. And of course, live streaming done at manipurpolo.org. This is Santosh, number two. Ram, sorry, Purohit, number two for IPA. Very number red is a IPA. The second goal for uh, IPA. Just show me your back number. Kindly show me your back number. Who scored? 
Kindly raise your minute, just for the acknowledgement. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, a second checker, two for IPA and the Indian Navy. Hurale, three for IPA. Hurale, number a beautiful strike from the 60 yard, and it is uh, a wide. It will be hit in by the Indian Navy. We are indeed privileged to have uh, Lieutenant General KK Reswal, SM VSM Chief of Staff, Headquarters Listen Command, as our chief guest today. I'm sure he will give uh, his being briefed by our Honorary President, Sri H. Dilip Singh, <coughs> AK Panchal, tapping, bringing the ball for Indian Navy, AK Majoraman Singh. Aman Singh, he was here, in fact, uh, a couple of years ago, one of the most beautiful teams, and that is on toast, a beautiful long drive. It's a hit in for the Indian Navy. Hurali. Hurali. Number three. Dose. Number one. It's a beautiful. And now put it in to race. Happy Singh. Ashwin Panchal. For Indian Navy, looking for the captain, APC. Hurali, as I said, and they kept two, goal two for. Uh, the IPA, I'm saying number two, Captain Epi Singh defending the entire ground for Indian Navy. I hope Captain Epi Singh will not uh, miss his flight because he's due to join his duty this very afternoon. The first gong, three, 30 seconds to go. Launcher. Rohit, a beautiful strike by number three, Pancho, and it is a wide.
you to the Doordarshan, the National Television Network, uh, for uh, taking these proceedings of the 14th Manipur Polo International Live throughout the length and breadth of our country. We are. I'm here with us, uh, Major Raman Singh from the IPA. He was here, I suppose, in 2014 with a nice team. Aman, you have uh, come back after many, many years. Uh, what is the significance and the relevance of this very tournament that you play on the small ponies, of course, at a very small ground? Why do you think that people from different parts of the country would like to come and experience the very tournaments of the matches in Manipur? Uh, first, I'd like to congratulate the entire MHRPA for organizing such a beautiful tournament. Eight years back when I was here, it was good, but now it's even better. So my heart is congratulation to you all. Also, I would answer that question in the very same manner as a player would say that you must play on all pitches, you must play all forms of all sports. So once we are playing regular polo, playing Manipur polo is also a very good learning experience. And all players who are playing regular polo, professional polo, look up to this form of polo as well because this is very challenging, enriching and a good learning experience. Well, we also do organize the equestrian uh, championship at this very ground. I suppose uh, the entire equestrian network in the country do perform on the bigger horses. What is the future of our little ponies at the national network with the small ponies? As I would see, this can be developed as just an, an addition to the regular polo calendar of IPA. And that way we'll have this organized as a very, very higher level tournament where lots of team participates. Just what I am aware that in the state, in this very region, on this ground, 51 to 52 teams have participated in the earlier tournaments. So we look forward to the same kind of participation pan India. Uh, Major Rana, normally our boys do perform very well in these small ponies. However, the only challenge that we have is uh, our boys do not have the opportunity of playing in the larger circuits in different arenas or playgrounds in different parts of the country. How do you think that the IPK, IPA can play a role in taking our young players to either Jaipur ground or other larger areas? I truly believe the way we have come here to play and we are having a learning experience playing on these ponies on this ground with such an awesome crowd. If players from Manipur can come and play regular tournaments with us, players who are playing in the Manipur team, they are fabulously well talented and they will do certainly very, very well in regular tournaments as well. Just they will take some time, but yes, as we all know, good things take time. Uh Mazen, I suppose uh, you're having a wonderful time in Manipur. What are the other areas that you think we need to improve upon? It may not be my place to tell you what improvements can you make. I am totally enjoying this polo, hospitality, and the way this entire Sangai festival has been organized. So I would rest my words here and wish you best of luck with further tournaments as well. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Anand, for, uh, Aman, for being with us. And we look forward to seeing you again next year. Thank you. Thank you, Aman.
Can I have Jack Tucker in the commentary box? If Jack has arrived in the ground, can I invite Jack Tucker at the commentary box? Jack. Third tracker, India A, two, India Navy, yet to open, open its account. Aman Singh, looking for Hur. A beautiful stroke by Hur. The race begins. Hurali, number three. Hurali, one of the promising players from the Indian polo circuit. Hurali, number three, and that is a wide. Sigi Nango, lit pass in India A, Aluga Mo, lit pass in India Navy, and that is a wife. And I'm so happy that I am with Jack Tucker, the younger of the Harry Tucker of the same family, being in Manipur for the first time. Yes, Jack, how has been your journey from England to Manipur? The journey itself was uh, was was quite tricky I think just like the US team there's been a few um, few visa issues to get here but um, once we've got everything sorted it's been uh, an absolutely wonderful trip yeah as uh, I usually ask my friends from different parts of the world what was your feeling that when you said you're going to Manipur what was the first reaction that you have that you'll be going as a part of a team I was uh, incredibly exciting I'd heard some rumors about uh, what to expect so I was and that is Captain Epising and who rally in race, Captain Epising, that was his ball. And again, I'm saying, Top Ali, Captain Epising, looking for Altaf Ali, Santosh, Altaf Ali, number one for the Indian Navy. It's a race with her early and Altaf Ali. And this is it, Ashwin. Purohit. Hurali. It is again, Hurali, number three. Hurali, number three. Hurali. That is just misses by a couple of meters. Yes, Jack, as I was saying that uh, when you are a part of the United Kingdom team, uh, what was the first thing that you had in your mind that you would be playing in Imphal on the smaller pony? I was incredibly excited. I'd heard a few things um, about what to expect, but it was uh, yeah, certainly a feeling of excitement and an and honour to, uh, to be given the privilege as well. So it's been um, yeah, a, a number of weeks of uh, anticipation before we got here. Looking for Ashwin, number three. And defending Mr. Raman Singh. Number three, Ashwin for Indian Navy. Raman Singh. Altaf Ali. Hurali. Hurali, number three. Mr. Raman. Captain A.P. Singh. Number two, 
That is Purohit from India A. A foul call. Yeah, as I was saying, Jack, that uh, it is a long journey from uh, England. And having to play on the Manipuri small ponies as you are used to, big horses, as people say, uh, what was the feeling that you had and the first game in Manipur? Uh, the, the first game was uh, a real learning curve. Um, everything that I expected was, was wrong. Everything was uh, different to what, um, what I thought to, uh, to meet here. But uh, it's been absolutely amazing and the horses have been incredible. It's been uh, yeah, a re real learning curve. As, uh, as the England team, so the UK team was the first to arrive uh, on the uh, 20th of November. In fact, uh, almost three days before the tournament, it seemed uh, like you were determined to come and have uh, stick and ball, practice for a couple of days and come out uh, smart on the very first day and you were lucky to play in their Navy that arrived the previous day and then they had no chance of uh, stick and ball the previous day. You were on the advantageous side, uh, hey? Absolutely. Uh, it was, yeah, such an advantage to have at least a day or two days here, get some experience under your belt. Uh, get to know the ponies and, and how they, they act and how they move. So it was a massive advantage for us to have a few days. Um, and unlucky for the Navy that, <laughs> that they came across us uh, on the first game. Yeah, as, uh, as, as I met some of my uh, friends from Delhi who arrived by the first flight, they came straight to the uh, polo ground from the airfield. And as uh, they are sitting behind me, they are so happy to see the clear blue sky I suppose you have clear blue skies uh, in England? We do, but we don't have such beautiful views of mountains as we have here. So, um, yeah, it's an absolutely beautiful place. It was amazing views as, as we're coming down to land on the plane to see the mountain ranges here. It's a, a really beautiful uh, yeah, part of the world. Uh, I just called my friend in Delhi. The pollution level in, pol uh, the pollution level in Delhi is now about uh, 37 and uh, my friend from the pollution control board saying that the pollution level in Manipur is about one. As I, uh, I just told him that there's a lot of dust in this very town. He said the dust has nothing to do with pollution. It is, it is more of the pollutants or the chemicals. In fact, we are so lucky to have uh, you here. Almost zero pollution, which I think is quite high in Delhi in other parts of the city. It is uh, measurement taking the 60 yard hit for IPA. Uh, Tim Captain, having to say that playing on the Manipuri horses is important and you have to learn that is a beautiful strike by, oh, it just went wide by a couple of yards. Yeah, Jack, uh, as I was saying, playing in the polo circuit in different parts of the world on big horses and the small ponies in Manipur, as George Emmer was saying, that the facility or the time that you can maneuver the small ponies here uh, is there some way that you find it difficult in uh, these small ponies or uh, what is the difference that you see? Yeah, and advantage and disadvantage. I think the, the main thing is knowing how to ask the horse to do what you want it to do. Uh, it's like driving a, a car which has a steering wheel on the other side of the, of the vehicle. You need to learn how to use it and once you ask the right questions, the ponies are actually very responsive. That's a beautiful tap by number two. Uh, that is Prohit, and that is the third goal for IPA. The in the IPA, the third goal, or was it a goal, or still playing? It's a wide. Oh, I'm sorry, I was mistaken. It was almost a goal. I thought from this very end. Sorry, I beg your pardon. It wasn't a goal. It is a wide, hit in by the Indian Navy. I beg your pardon. The score still stands. IPA two. In their navy, no. And how has been your last five days in Imphal? Oh, it's been absolutely wonderful. Uh, that the hotel that we've been staying in is is really pleasant, and uh, we got a chance to to come out and see some of the festival, which was uh, a real privilege. So it's been a, a very relaxed and enjoyable time uh, with plenty to do. So we. Very pleased to be here. Uh, I was told that you had gone to the Kamla Fort this morning to see the remnant of our civilization. In fact, the East India Company, having spent about 200 years at that very ground that you saw, and the till, that very place was taken by the British in 1891. 
And how was that feeling that when you went into the fort, uh, which is uh, our ancestors' uh, palace? Uh, it's uh, absolutely beautiful and a, a real um, sense of heritage there. Uh, yeah, very special place. Thank you. This is again uh, Captain Epi Singh of the Indian Navy. And the Navy strike at goal again, but looks like it's gone over the back line. So it'll be a hit out for India A. Ball's tapped forward. A nice shot down the pitch. The Navy coming in in defence now, pick up the ball. Now they have a chance for attack and maybe their first goal. But it's stolen by India Ray. Hur Ali on attack again, top goal scorer for this team. But the ball's left behind. It's still India A on the attack, looking dangerous. It's a shot at goal, but it's gone wide. So the score, two to India A, and nothing yet for the Indian Navy. The Navy take the ball out. India A straight away on the attack, and this is looking Dangerous. Oh, here we go. Here's the first gong. 30 seconds left to play. India have stolen the ball. Can they get a last? No. And it's gone wide. The Navy team will be relieved. That was looking very dangerous. So that's the end of the third chucker. The scores two goals to India A. Zero goals to the Indian Navy. So this last chakra will be critical. There's still only two goals in it. Still a chance for the Navy to come back. The last and the fourth chakra, the score saying India A, two, and India Navy, nil. The very next uh, match will be quite interesting. It is between the India B, India B, that is the local boys, and uh, USA. So how was your match with the USA yesterday? I think that was a very convincing win for you. 8-3, uh, if I am right? I think so. It, it, was, um, it was a convincing win, but a, a tough game as well. Um, we started very well, but the US team replied very quickly. And uh, yeah, I think it was maybe the second chucker we didn't feel quite so confident. Uh, but by the third and, and the final chucker, we really came, you know, pushed ahead. But this um, US team is, is, is good. And I'm um, very much looking forward to seeing this next game to see uh, also a chance for me to prepare for uh, we're meeting this India B team, the local guys, tomorrow. So uh, it'll be a good chance to. To do some research. Yeah, you will have a very exciting match with Manipur today, tomorrow, isn't it? Your matches were with Manipur tomorrow. Yes, that's right. How are you prepared? I think we're, we've had a lot of team talks. We've watched them play um, the previous games. So we, um, we've got a bit of a plan, but we'll see what happens. Uh, it so happened that a couple of years ago, the South Africa came and they watched the entire Manipur boys play from the beginning till the end. The captain was saying that your boys are so unpredictable. The first game they would play, play in a different style and when they came the next day it was completely changed style and strategy so our boys they're used to this very ground and in fact for your information that the boys play in different uh, clubs they're for the first time that they're playing together so as you see in the last couple of days how is their combination 
Yeah, I think uh, I agree that um, there's a few of the, the UK team that have been here before and seen the local guys, uh, the local boys playing and had thought, thought they understood quite, quite well how, how they play as a team. But um, as it turns out, this year they're playing differently to the previous years. And um, so it's, yeah, it, it will be interesting to see how, how they play on the day and also um, how well they work together as a team because they've been sele selected from a number of different teams. Yeah, uh, and in fact, uh, uh, we are so grateful to the national television uh, network called uh, Doordarshan here in India, uh, bringing the proceedings of the entire uh, tournament here from the very beginning on 27, and they will do live till 29. We are so happy that our national television, Doordarshan, bringing live the proceedings, the entire live telecast, of course, live streaming too. And the re-telecast with the local people at around eight o'clock uh, in, the, in the in the local channel. I think you have the privilege of watching and analysing the uh, matches of different uh, other, other teams. Absolutely, it's quite something to be able to sit down to eat dinner and watch watch the game from uh, earlier in the day. And it's a really good chance to to look at uh, what we've done wrong, what worked well, and try and build on our experience and prepare ourselves. So it's a, it's a real privilege to have that opportunity. Uh, in fact, uh, you had almost two and a half days advantage being at this very ground, having a couple of uh, chuckers and stick and bowl. On the very first day, I think you literally trounced, uh, as people say, uh, you dominated the match with the Indian Navy. It was a big score, 14-0 or uh, uh, the very first match. Uh, how they have improved uh, in the last couple of days or how they have got into the uh, atmosphere under the ponies do you think that the team has progressed? Absolutely. It's um, a yeah, very well-organized team now. Um, I think they, we caught them underprepared, uh, but they've certainly certainly improved, and it, they look like a completely uh, very different Very unfortunately, team today. one of their S players, uh, Lieutenant Commander Rafi, got slight injury uh, on the shoulder yesterday. I wish uh, he's all right, and he told me in the morning that uh, except for the pain, there is no fracture, there is no bone injury, as I was told, but I'm so happy that he'll be going back. And we would have uh, loved to see him here too. I think uh, this is the beginning of the fourth chakra, the very last chakra. Uh, we should be able to see. This is the next part. Urali, that is Santosh. Urali, number three. Altab Khan for Navy, Ashwin, Rally, Mizraman. It was Mizraman's ball. Rally. Right, in, in your A on attack again. Looks like the Navy hit a nice backhand in defence. Who's there first? It's in your A again. Rahid. The ball's left behind. Now we have Captain APC, number four for the Indian Navy, and a great shot up towards the goal. It's picked up by the India A team. And there's a nice backhand shot towards goal from the, the Navy. But it's cleared out to the side. Well, Aman Singh, nice shot down the pitch. Can the Navy capitalize on this? And Hurali's picked up the ball again. Left it behind. Number four for the Navy. AP Singh brings the ball forward, tries to take control of the ball. Indurain, great backhand shot towards goal. It's looking dangerous. And it's a goal. Bringing the score. India A3, India Navy no.
Right, the teams return to the centre for a throw-in. So that was number two, Prohid, who scored for the India A team. The teams line up now for a throw-in. So the scores, India A three, Indian Navy zero. The Navy straight out the line out with the ball. AP Singh picking up the ball. It's a great chance for them to get their first goal on the board. The ball's deflected off a pony. And India A take, take the ball. And It's a bit of snake killing going on in this melee. Let's see who comes out with this ball. Right, Hurali, nice backhand, but it looks like it's going to go out. So it'll be a hit to the Navy team. It's AP Singh taking the hit out. It's a small shot, collects himself, winds up for the shot to goal, and it's looking good. Stopped again by India A team. Great defence by Major Amund. And the ball's cleared out, but AP Singh is in defence. Hur Ali takes a large, massive shot up to goal. Now it's a real pony race on that grey pony. Looks like he might even get there. And a little shot puts it through. A wonderful goal. End to end stuff here. So India A on four, the Indian Navy on zero. And the teams line up again for a throw in. The ball's thrown in, it's straight away come out for the Indian A team with a brilliant shot up to goal. This is looking very dangerous. The Navy need to be careful. And a wonderful goal. Straight out of the line out. was uh, Santosh, number one for the India A team that scored. The ball's thrown in again. It looks like it was a foul hook. So it should be a hit to the Navy team. The last checker, clock ticking, the scoreboard in their A, five in the Navy yet to open its accounts. The Mounted Empire's officiating this very first match is uh, Phil Seller from the United Kingdom and uh, Salam Viking from India. And with me in the commentary box is uh, Jack Tucker, the younger of the Tuckers, and your elder brother, he is here as a part of the team from the United Kingdom. Well, I suppose uh, George having, George Amor having been already here in Imphal on two previous occasions, or just was it once? Uh, this is his third, third This trip. is his third uh, trip. That means he knows what happens in this very ground. It's certainly been helpful having a team captain who's been here a number of times. It's been a great advantage to uh, get an insight of what to expect. And sometimes polo is a game. The dialogue goes on between the players and the umpires. And looks like it's a penalty to the Navy. AP Singh is bringing the ball up. Looks like it's a 60-yard shot. One of the most interesting aspects uh, of the game of polo is uh, the conversation between the umpires and the polo players when a foul is called continues. And in the event of a dispute, the umpires will have a long discussion. And 
in the event of not coming into the same, they come to the jury, the third umpire. It looks like I think there may have been some uh, some disagreement between the India A team and the umpire, and the penalty has been moved from a 60 yarder to a 40 yarder. Is it a 40 yard? Yeah. Uh, 40 yard being taken by Hi John, all the best. So AP Singh coming round to take this penalty. Koi Manipur ki team do moi ki USA se angam bolit ke dabo harmal hai. Ato pa machudu pora pra. Manipur team captain. It's a nice English. shot, but the net. Oh, it's just gone wide. Very Mr. unfortunate. Manipur ki their players in hozik hozik koi ki USA ki team se. Which color they would be wearing. Mm. Looks like this penalty will be taken again. Not quite sure what happened there, but AP Singh is lining up the ball again to take the 40 yarder. So another chance for the Navy to open George. up. So this is a good opportunity now for the Navy to get a goal on the board. AP Singh. There are certain penalties that either you can defend and there are certain penalties in polo that you cannot actually defend. This is a free hit for Indian Navy being taken by number four, that is Captain AP Singh of the Indian Navy. A very, very seasoned player from the Indian Navy, and people from Manipur are quite surprised as to how uh, Indian Navy officers are playing the game called Polo in the middle of a sea. Uh, it's not, it's not a goal. Unfortunately, it looks like the ball's gone wide, or it may not have even actually crossed the line. With a 40-yard penalty, you have one shot at the ball. You, you do not hit it through the goal or over the back line. You cannot hit it again. So that was a lost opportunity for the Indian Navy team. And then we start with a hit out to India A. Mathangi, Mathangi Sanakata was goal sing. Tapna tapna, adum pusen bilak na bohna biu. Kara nganna adum hauna bohna biu. Koi stable panadi ba chinao sing na. Nakan nakan da adum koi gi goal zi. USA, Amadi, Manipur, Sanagaba. Looks like there's a pony change for the India A team. As I was saying that the rules and regulations of this game called Polo, all the rules are premised on the safety of the horses first. Any move, any action that is uh, presumed to be against the law of nature that would hurt the animal is called a foul. I suppose that is right, Jack? Yes, that's right. The 99% of the rules are based on, on the safety of the ponies, about 1% based on the safety of the players. So anything that uh, deems to be of high risk to the horse or actually um, likely to cause damage is, is a foul. We're not too bothered if we hurt polo players, it's the ponies we need to look after. So hopefully the India A team will be back to full complement shortly. We can continue this fourth chucker. So India A have five goals. So Indian Navy yet to yet to score a goal. Uh, good afternoon, Harry. Can you please call? 
The final and the fourth chakra. Raman Singh, IPA, Santosh, number one, Santosh, Hurali, Hurali, and that is a Beautiful goal from the 50 40 yard by Hurali. Number three, Hurali of the IPA scoring the sixth goal for IPA. The last and check in number four. In between the checker, one of our friends was asking. The traditions of the Manipuri polo style as we had a short conversation. Captain Epi Singh, Santosh, Mezaraman Singh, number four. Mezaraman Singh, number four, the team captain of the Indian IPA in the middle of a field, taking a 30 yard. Mezaraman Singh, whether he converts that into a goal, you know, that is Altav Khan. Is our still born? Ashwin. Number three, Ashwin of the Indian Navy. And that is the first goal for India Navy. Commander Ashwin Panchal of the Indian Navy. The crowd is cheering up for the Indian Navy. You should put in more score. The very first time the Indian Navy has come to Imphal to play at this very, very prestigious Manipur Polo International. Polo players from different continents having already come and experienced the matches here at this Bali Polo, polo Ground. Aman Singh. That is Pranchal again. Ashwin, a beautiful stroke by Pranchal. Commander Pranchal. Commander Pranchal, that is a second goal for Commander Pranchal. The last checker, the fourth checker, the clock ticking. I would love to see the face of uh, Mrs. Uh, Ashwin. She must be in the crowd. Ashwin, and that is the last gong. The end of the checker, end of the match. IPA, that is India A6, India Navy 2. The next match will be between the United States of America and India B, that is the local boys, India B. Thank you, the team from IPA, and thank you, team from the Indian Navy. And I would like to thank uh, Phil Seller from the United Kingdom and the Viking Salam for uh, conducting the very match. The second match will be between the USA and 
Manipur, that is India B. For the benefit of the players, that would be Indian team, Navy team, who would like to acknowledge the crowd. This is Captain A.P. Singh. Please give a round of applause for Captain A.P. Singh of the Indian Navy. Altaf Khan, number one, wearing Lieutenant Arun and the Commander Ashwin Panchal. Thank you very much, Indian Navy. We look forward to seeing you again in our Governor's Cup. We have already extended our, extended our invitation to the Indian Navy team for the prestigious Governor's Cup that will be in the month of February, end of February and the beginning of March. The polo season here is October, from October by the end of the monsoon and till the rain comes in in the months of April. Manipur is a place we have here you have almost eight months of rain and very unpredictable that you, you would even have rain in the month of November. We had to postpone one of the international matches because there was heavy rain in the month of November. So as I say, weather is unpredictable in Manipur and I thought and I think you should also be unpredictable when you come to Imphal. We've been very lucky with the weather this year. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, in fact, I was just saying that some of my friends who have just landed from Delhi, they're so thrilled and excited to see the clear blue sky. And I told him, I advised him that you can see stars at night. And you have gone through the process of sky reading. You would be able to see the constellations right in the middle of the night. You can see the star. As I grew up, we never had compass. We used to navigate ourselves when you, we used to go for trekking in the middle of the night. We used to go by the direction of the stars. And till today, we are so fortunate that this part of the country, this part of the land, is yet to be attacked by so-called pollution and chemicals. <laughs>
ากน้ำดำหนุ่มสีวีปาดกิทำบ้านสาดลีเยใจเส้นจงมันจงมาให้มาชิงไล่ได้ชูจะกอยอีใส่สัตว์นาลุนเสะลงมีชิงมีวัดเบี้ยนีมุกนาคังใจเส้นจงมันจงมาให้มาชิงไล่ได้ชูจะกอยอีใส่สัตว์นาลุนเสะลงมีชิงมีอ
I would like to introduce the players. I would like to introduce the players from the USA. Jorge, the captain of the USA team, George Jorge Vasquez. Number two, Nick Philbin. That is number one, Will Bowman. Number three, Joan. And from Manipur, number one, El Atangba. Number two, P. Ojit. Number three, T. Pradeep Kumar. And number four, L. Thompson. The mounted umpire will be George Emore, the team captain of the United Kingdom. And the second mounted umpire will be Major Aman, Aman Singh from the IPA. Joe Emor here for the third time in Manipur officiating the second match between USA and India B Manipur. Number one, El Thangba. Number two, Oj. Number three, Pradeep. Number four, L. Thompson for USA. Number one, Will Bowman. Bolan. Number two, Nick Philbin. John, number three, and Jorge, number four. Jose Mo, the game begins with his throw. Lineman, judges, timekeeper. The World Stars, that is L. Thompson for India B. L. Thompson. It will be a hit in by USA. As I was saying, uh, some of my friends, uh, as I was mentioning, the game of polo or the Sagol Kanje used to be played by our ancestors. It was some kind of a peacetime war exercise, as uh, the historians say, there were no rules. In fact, it was the mighty and the healthy and, of course, the best horsemanship that you have to exhibit during the game. Number three, Deep Pradeep Kumar. Deep Pradeep. Deep Pradeep. A foul gold. It is a penalty awarded uh, to USA. It will be number four, the team captain, Jorge. One of the most encouraging uh, teams in the USA from the USPA, that is uh, number four, Jorge, will be taking the penalty. Goal post quite wide open. Jorge walks in, and that is the first goal for USA. USA won in their B nil. As I was saying, the mounted umpires, Major Raman Singh from the IPA and Josh Emore from United Kingdom. US elite 1 to India B nil.
while sitting at home, you can see the match. Durdashin Manipur YouTube channel. Radeep. T Pradeep. Looking for number two. That is Ojit. P Ojit. Number two. P Ojit. Number two for Manipur. That is not yet. Oh, there's a goal. Just 10 seconds from the throw in. That is uh, P Ojit from Manipur scoring the first goal in the first checker. 1 1 1. First checker, USA 1, India B, Manipur 1. All in red, USA. Atamba, number one, Pradeep. That is Pradeep, number three. The him captain. Thompson, number four. T Pradeep Kumar. Number, number three, the team captain. Oh, it is just a little. A couple of meters from the post, a couple of yards, as I say. A good match. To begin with, USA scored the first goal, number one, and in the following minute, squaring the table. Number two. As and when a foul is whistled, the two umpires do kanka. It is always in agreement of both the umpires as to which foul has been awarded. The advantage on the USA. For Jorge, will take a 60 yard hit. Jorge, the US team captain, will take the 60 yard hit, the penalty. Beautiful strike. And number two, POG. Pradeep will defend. We Pradeep looking for a tango. of the player to ask uh, the umpires uh, for what reason the foul was called and the umpire explains uh, the entire proceedings as to why a foul has been called and both the umpires will have to concur that judgment in the event of a dispute among the players among the umpires there's always a third umpire the chief referee Joan, number three, seems to be the one who'd be taking the shot. Joan of USA. Number three, Joan for USA. And that is the second goal for USA. Second goal for USA. USA, two. India B1 and the first Chaka. Number three. That was number three, John, for USA. Converting that penalty beautifully, taking a score to two. Number two, P. Ojit. A 
whistle ball. For the benefit of the spectators, one must be really wondering why the umpires are whistling as a foul. There are certain way the horse cannot turn in front of another player that would cause danger to the coming horse and that would be considered a foul and the team bringing the ball takes in the advantage it would be a 60 yard hit in favor of uh, the India team B that is Manipur seems like it is a 60 yard hit there's still a ball inside the field It will be number three, the team captain of the India B team, Pradeep, T. Pradeep, 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 and that is the second goal for India B, score 2-2, two, two. neck and neck, the crowd being entertained. Manipur Polo the team captain, number four, bringing in the ball, looking for Nick. Number two. Pradeep. It will be a hit in by the India B team. T Pradeep. Looking for POJ. This is uh, POJ, number two. In dress with Ajit, be Ajit, number two. Ajit, number two. Be Ajit, number two from the India team. Be Ajit, not this. It just misses the crowd. I'm so happy. The cheer for the teams. A beautiful pass from the team captain. Be Ajit, just missing to convert that beautiful stride by a couple of yards. Two, two, first chakra. Nick Fildwin. Jorge. Thompson checking Jorge. A beautiful tactics by both the teams. I think the viewers on the edge of the chairs and at the far end of this very stadium, people on feet. <laughs> I can see. I hope the cameraman would focus on the crowd and the audience on the extreme end where the people are on their feet. Very exciting, a beautiful pause, and that is a wide. Will be hidden by the USA. Two, two. Two, two. Two two. Will. Will Bolin, number one for USA. Will Bolin, number one, misses it. This is Ella Tamba, number one, looking for Will. It is Nick. Got the ball. Well controlled. 60 yard almost. Tried. And it is a wide. Scoreboard, two two in the first chakra. Clock ticking in the first checker. T Pradeep. T Pradeep seems like he is looking for uh, El Atamba. He'll be hitting by the USA. John, the youngest team player from the USA. John, within number three. 
We were so lucky to have John. He arrived almost two days later, and we had to reschedule the entire fixture as we wanted the US team to be in full strength. Number two. Number one, Nick. Number two, POJ. Number two, POJ for Manipur. Pradeep, 30 seconds to go. He, Pradeep, a team captain. 30 seconds to go. A foul call by Major Raman Singh. Major Raman Singh calling a foul. Let us see in whose favor. End of the first checker. Just a moment. Just a few seconds before the final gong. A foul has been called. It would be. Scoreboard two, two, two. Quite a very challenging situation where this match is very vital and important for the United States of America to stay alive in this tournament. Having won the first match and losing the second match to England yesterday, there are five teams. It's around a Robin League where each team will be playing four matches. The best two teams will be on the final on the final day of the 29th. Hello. The end of second chakra. The second chakra. Two, two. The first chakra just having concluded. Uh, as I said, it will be a very important match for both the teams. It is, a round, it is a round robin tournament where every team will be playing four matches against all the four teams. And the best two as on the points will be slated for the final match on the 29th of November at this very historic ground acknowledged and seen as the oldest living polo ground in the world. I am so happy that the two umpires, uh, George Emor and uh, Major Amar Singh from the Indian Army, uh, conducting this very uh, match, conversing with all the polo players as and when a foul has been called. There's no change, I say. Number one, Elitangba. Number two, P. Ojit. Number three, Pradeep. 
and L. Thompson still in the ground. The local boys have an advantage knowing the ground situation, the horses. They're used to playing on this ground. However, America, the USA, is also a very seasoned team visiting every year. And in fact, Jorge here is for the third time. Jorge Vasquez, the US team captain, number four. In long conversation with Mejerman in the middle of the field, exchanging pleasantries. Will we stay together? Will we eat together at the very same hotel? A beautiful scene and lovely scenario as uh, we share the same table during an off time from this match. T. Pradeep Kumar, a team captain. It was the penalty called. It would be penalty number two. I guess penalty number two that uh, the players cannot defend. Polo is a very strange game that uh, when the umpire calls penalty number two, you can't defend. It is an open goal post. Number three, the Indian team captain Pradeep will take the penalty. It is a 30 yard. Okay, is it a uh, scoreboard two for USA, two for India B, a penalty number two being taken by Pradeep, the team captain. And that is a goal, a third goal for India Team B, scored by Team Captain Pradeep Kumar. Mounted umpires officiating the very match. Jose Emor at the near end, the Team Captain from the United Kingdom, and Major Raman, an A grade umpire in the polo playing circuit in the country and around the world. Jose Emor. Checker number two, Pradeep. Number three, Pradeep, looking for Ojit. Number two, P. Ojit. P. Ojit. Number two, and that is a beautiful goal. Number two, P. Ojit, taking up the scoreboard for India B. India B four, USA two, in a second checker. A second checker. Measurement saying. El Atangba, number one. El Atangba, number one for India B. Followed by Pradeep. Nick, number two, checking. Number one, Will. Number one, El Atangba. That is number two, I guess. Piojit. Last kiss. And that was P. Ojit number two. Scoring the fifth goal for India B. And in fact, some of the number one, Hore. Hore. John, number three for USA. John, number three for USA. Nick, number two. Number one. Elatamba, number one. It is a race for Nick and Natamba in the middle of it. Piojit. Jorge, number four. Jorge, 
looking for John Pradeep and this is number two B or J number two for India B number two B or J oh that is a wide scoreboard India B five USA two I would like to know if uh, Commander Ashwin is still in the field. I would like to request him to the commentary box. Uh, Commander Ashwin of the Indian Navy. Number two, POJ, Mrs. It. John. Lieutenant Arun, I would like to know if uh, Ashwin is still here. I would like to come you to the commentary box. Commander Ashwin. I'm here at the... I would like to interview in the middle part of the second chakra for the Doodarshan. This very match, very important for both the teams. USA has to win India B to stay in the game. As I said, the format of the tournament is around a Robin League. Each team having to play, and it's a wide, each team having to play four matches. The best two teams of the four matches will be in the final, which is on the 29th of November. Shown, number three. Will, for the USA, Mr. Pradeep, Will. The ball is still in the ground. Jorge. Snake number two for USA. D. Pradeep Kumar, a team captain, looking for Thompson number four. Thompson, checker number two, scoreboard in the AB five, USA two. As I was saying that there are five teams in a tournament and the format of a tournament being around Robin League, each team will be playing four matches. The best two teams to meet in the grand final on 29th of November. 28th November is a rest day. There will be two matches uh, tomorrow. There will be a complete rest for all the players on 29th, 28th of the November, so that the teams will have a one day recovery period to show their best on the final day.
Ojit looking for El Atamba. It's a race. El Atamba, number one. El Atamba, number one. El Atamba, number one. And that is a beautiful goal. El Atamba taking the scoreboard to six, to two for USA. Jersey Mamba Lipa Sina United States of America. Sambanaba Sina India B. Manipur. Ojikuzik, Lady Baskor Gibibam, India B. Taru, USA Ani. Ojikuzik Sandariba Asi around Robin Kawi, Tim Amana. Match Mari Mari Sanagani. Match Mari Mari Sandarba Matunda. Fideki point Yamba Anina. Tari Kungama Panda. Final match Sanagani, Yahan Hanbada, Yengadabasi, final match Asigi Sanagada Batim, point Ayamba, Ani Aduna, final match Sanagani. So far, America has won one match, and this is a very important match. They lost to England, Red Britain, yesterday. Manipur having won one match, and this is the second match. Manipur will be playing United Kingdom tomorrow. The second chakra, India B six, USA two. Hayim Nabeon Riki Tare Kunga Tare Nomaizing Numit Ahan Bus Hanagadava Match USA Amadi India A Aduga Ani Subagrand United Kingdom and India B Tomorrow Sunday the 27th of November the first match will be India A IPA and United States of America the second round will be played between United Kingdom and Manipur that is India B Lengsin Bili Bukhai Punamukta Mukta Ghani Singh Jage Hayi Numai Jing Numet November Ki Tari Kung Tare Chathari Batarag Mari Subha Manipur Polo International Taruk Ni Shambh Numitta Ahan The Ground Sana Jagani USA Amba The India A Ani Subha Ground The United Kingdom And Manipur That is India B Number Two That is Bul Mukta Ghani Singh Jage Hayi November Ki Tari Kung Tare Numai Jing Numet Ahan background da pun amat awam betam da USA amat di India ya sana gini juga ani super ground da United Kingdom and Manipur that is India B. Jom looking for Will and thirty seconds to go. Atamba looking for Ojit number two and that is a beautiful strike by number two and that is the. End of the second checker. Durdarshan National Television Network, 
bringing the entire proceedings of the 14th Manipur Polo International throughout the length and breadth of the country. We are indeed very happy to have the Indian Navy team for the very first time and I am with Commander Ashwin Panchal bringing the Indian Navy team for the first time. So how has been your experience uh, in Imphal, uh, Ashwin? I would say the experience has been very unique and uh, I would say very scintillating. It's a new experience and uh, though we have played pol uh, polo all over the country but uh, coming to Manipur and playing polo on Manipur ponies has been a total different experience and uh, we are taking a lot of experience and a lot of new things from here, that's for sure. I was just informed that uh, there will be a motorcycle rally to send a message to the people of Manipur that the Indian Navy is open for the young boys and girls from Manipur. There still is a fear for water and I suppose the people from the mountain do have a little bit of a fear. I was told that there is a girl in Indian Navy who has circumnavigated the entire ocean and I think uh, she will be coming to Manipur as a plan. And do you have anything to say, any information for the young boys and girls from Manipur? Absolutely. First of all, uh, as Navy, uh, it's Admiral Hari Kumar and Vice Admiral S.N. Gormade. They have given impetus that we should engage and constructively engage and be more with Northeast and uh, showcase our presence in Northeast so that the young boys and girls from Northeast, they know Navy better and they can join us. We look forward having you us with us in the naval uni uniform in whites and be with us at the high seas. Uh, I am told that a motorcycle rally would be uh, coming in the month of December Correct. and they will pass, they'll be passing through uh, Manipur in the month of December. We will be hosting them here and I think we will try our best to exhibit uh, the motorcycle rally coming from uh, different parts of the country to send the message that the door is open for the young boys and girls for the Navy. Absolutely, it is one of the initiatives uh, of Navy to bring in uh, the North is closer to our heart and the rally is one another initiative wherein we'll showcase our presence here in Northeast apart from the coastal region and uh, we welcome all the boys and girls of Northeast to come and join us. I was just asked by some of my friends that the Indian Navy team has arrived in Imphal and they were quite amused to say that how can a Navy our Navy have a polo team because they will be in the, in the middle of a sea. I am so happy that uh, the Indian institutions, whether it is the Air Force, the Navy or the Army, they do play polo. Absolutely and we have maintained this culture of uh, playing polo in Navy for more than a decade now. We have a well oiled up machinery in our own horses and our own team. And we look forward of growing leaps and bounds in the times to come. We have the blessings of our uh, senior officers, their interest into the game and uh, the whole uh, infrastructure as such is in, our, in place. Uh, the very second game that you played uh, against the United States of America, that was a very exciting match and as I was watching from the commentary box, you were at 6-6 six, six in the second chakra, if I believe and you scored the first goal, 6-6 six, six in the second chakra. You picked up very fast, you came late, I mean you came, you had only one couple of hours for the second ball you developed, you improved and of course you got acquainted with our ponies. It took very fast, you improved very fast. I think uh, when you come back again, we'll see a better team, Ashwin. Absolutely, because uh, playing on these ponies and this ground has got its own strategic uh, changes that we need to make in our game plan. And uh, yes, the second game onwards, we tried to pick it up as much as possible. And we are rest assured, now we know what to expect because uh, this time probably we were not very sure when we landed here because uh, though we know polo, but uh, Manipur polo is uh, a tad tougher. Uh, we would be having the prestigious Governor's Cup uh, by the end of February or the beginning of March and our uh, committee has already decided to invite the Navy team to Manipur for the Governor's Cup. Absolutely and we will definitely recommend our uh, through staff channel to send Navy team uh, as annual feature or whenever possible to participate in the prestigious event being organized at Manipur. We love it here. Uh, thank you, uh, Commander Ashwin. We look forward to your next team again and uh, thank you very much and uh, we will see you again in the month of February or March this uh, very coming year. Thank you. Thank you, sir. It has really been a pleasure being here. We really uh, would like to thank the whole organization committee for such a wonderful effort and such great polo being organized because in uh, at, uh, generally, in that part of the country, we are not even aware of how many teams are being uh, hosted here. We came to know 40 teams and it is uh, really a surprise to us. The kind of impetus, that the kind of love we have seen for polo here, probably I haven't seen across length and breadth of the country.
Thank you again. Uh, we'll see you in the month of February. Thank you, Ashwin. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Third circle, score. The scoreboard would say in the B6, USA 2. Circle number three. India B six. USA two. Jorge. Atamba number one. Nick number two. For USA looking for Jorge. Will. Number one will. Jorge. POJ. POJ number two for India B. Well control. This is it. Foul calling. Lengsin bila bawa kuai pun dalam kita tunda menunda mungkin hari ini jaga hari yang nomajin nomet nabi yang berikut tarik kunjat tarik ahan bawa ground ke sana kita bawa pungga matamu matamu sana juga ni USA amadi India A ani super ground the United Kingdom and India B Manipur amuk tegah nani sing jaga hari yang nomajin nomet cakar riba tarak kembali super Manipur Polo International 2022 gi Taruk ni sembunyi bet asida hari yang ahan bapung amat abang matam ras hana kata match USA amadi India A ani super ground da United Kingdom versus India B Manipur. Just for the reminder of our viewers, tomorrow Sunday 27th of November the first match will be between USA and India A. The second match will be between United Kingdom and India B Manipur. Jorge number number four. Pradeep, Ella Tamba, number one. Ella Tamba, number one. It's a race for number one. Jorge and Atamba. Number one. Atamba for Manipur. That is in there B. Coming in, EPOZ, number two. Second in line. POZ, second in line. Pushing in the ball. Just a couple of yards and it is a wide. Tim in red. USA Tim in red, USA Tim in green Beautifully struck, John One of the youngest players of the USA You can see his riding skill in touch Number three and ball is out. It will be hit in for USA. Scoreboard India B 6 and USA 2. Seems like it would be a 60 yard hit in. Nick Felwyn, 
for USA. Nick Feldman. Tap. Tap. Bring in the ball. In the melee. The foul gold. Penalty in favor of USA. It'll be a 40 yard hit being taken by Joan. Number three for USA. Number three, USA. In the 30 yard, and that is a third goal for USA. The shades get a little longer. This part of the world. And that mess sets in by 4.30 and by 5, the visibility would be absolutely not in favor of the match. We try to complete the proceedings of the match before 4.30. favor of USA. This would be a penalty number four. It's a 60 yard hit. Two umpires. Mr. George Emma from the United Kingdom, the team captain, and Major Raman Singh from the cavalry. The team captain of the IPA. It would be number two. Nick would be taking the 60 yard hit. Beautifully struck. Joan waiting for the ball. And that is a wide. And for the benefit of our viewers in the television, the proceedings of the match for tomorrow being Sunday will be brought live again by Durdashan throughout the length and breadth of the country. USA versus India A at 1 p.m. followed by the match between United Kingdom and India B Manipur. Lengsin Biriba Kai Puna Makima Ponga Mukta Gharani Singh Jage Yang Namai Jing Namit November Ki Tarik Kuntare Chathariba Taraga Mari Suba Manipur Polo International 2020 Ki 22 Ki Ahanba Match United States of America and India A that is El Atambo number one a beautifully struck George Jorge, the team captain, will defend for USA. It is number one. It's a race between USA and Manipur. That is the little time and it just misses. India B, six, USA, three. Third, Chaka. Amukta Gahana Ning Singh Jage, Hayeng Nomai Jing Namit, Satharipa Taraga Marishuba Manipur Polo International 2022 Gi. Tarukni Sambanumita, a hand match, Sanagataba, USA, Amadi, India, A, Pung, Amatava, Matama, Hosegani, Anisuba match, United Kingdom, and India, B. That is Nick Felvin for USA. It'll be a hit in by Timbe.
There were seven goals scored by P. Ojit for India B. The third chapter having just concluded, India B leads 7 to 3 a USA. Mapal Kanjibum, as we know, this very polo ground being described and acknowledged by academicians, historians, and polo players from all over the world as the oldest living polo ground in the world. People from different parts of the world, in fact, I'm told that there are about 90 polo playing nations in the world. They look forward to coming and playing at this very oldest living polo ground on the world, on the original polo pony. We are so happy to see, we have seen polo players from different parts of the world, in fact, from all the continents we have had players from South Africa, we have played players from Kenya, we have had players from Mongolia, in fact, this very year, we have had the invitations being sent to different parts of the world. Unfortunately, because of the COVID-19 protocols and the travel restrictions, only teams from USA and UK, we have been in touch with them for the last nine months. We started reaching out to all the polo playing nations that we might be conducting. We might be organizing the 14th Manipur Polo International in November. This is our calendar event. Every year, the Manipur Polo International is held from 22nd November to 29th November. As it is recorded by IPA, it is becoming one of the most important polo events in the world as polo players from different parts of the world, they look forward to playing at this very ground on the original polo pony. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to take back again to the fourth chakra. Number one, Elatamba. Number two, P.O.J. Number three, Pradeep. Number four, L. Thompson for India B. Manipur. Number one for USA, Tim in red. Number one is uh, Will. Number two, Nick. Number three, John. Number four, Jorge. Once again, I would like to thank uh, our honorable chief guest who is kind enough to grace this very occasion we are indeed happy and privileged to have Lieutenant General K.K. Refswal, SMVSM Chief of Staff, Headquarters of the Eastern Command of Indian <coughs> Navy. We are also privileged to have Major General Rajan Rawat, who was here, officiated by the Commander 57 Brigade. We are also happy to have uh, Brigadier Essewari, officiating 57 Mountain Division. Sri Sandeep Dutta, IJP Manipur and Nagaland Sector. Sri BK Jha, IG Frontier Headquarter, and BSF. Fourth and last chakra. Clock ticking. Shades getting longer. Darkness creeping in. It is very difficult to play two chakras or two or three chakras after the sunset. We still have one chakra to go, still 20 minutes to four. Darkness sets in by 4.30 in this part of the world. There was a proposal from the visiting teams, the USA and the UK, that we should have a time zone in our own country. The sunrise in this very part of the country at 4.30 or 5 in the morning. Sunset again at 4.30. And when visiting players from UK, from USA, Two out, five in. It would mean that O P Ozit is resting while El Rohit number five is here to play. Number five, El Rohit is in, and number four, El Thompson. I beg your pardon. It is uh, four L Thompson out, and number five, El Rohit in. As I was mentioning. 
the local team has an advantage as we have filled up six players and for the visiting players sometimes number four this is Ella Tamba, the Pradeep, Joan and again number three for the Indian team captain B looking for El Rohit number two Nick tap tap uh, beautifully being brought Nick El Rohit the ball in air El Thamba number one El Thamba Jorge Jorge number four team captain looking for Joan number three Joan, Piojit, Elatamba, Jorge Elatamba on the wrist, Elatamba number one, Jorge number one, and a foul has been called, whistle has been blown, whistle has been blown. We are so grateful to the National Television Channel Network, Doordarshan, bringing the entire proceedings of the 14 Manipur Polo International from 22nd onward, bringing live all the matches and through live streaming of the 14 Manipur Polo International, that is a penalty number 5A. Jorge bringing up the ball you can see live Durdashan YouTube and again 24-7 web broadcast on ddmanipur.org and for the benefit of the viewers in Manipur who fail to see the live telecast you can sit in your drawing rooms and see the match again at 8 p.m. at Infal DDK channel Yojit Numit Kudigi Infalgi, Didi Kachanel Infal Channel, Chanelda, Pundipan Tavamatanda, Sanadiba, Mats Punimak Amuk Hanna, Yum Yum the Yang Pundigani Rohit, a beautiful hit for Rohit looking for a tango. Rohit again, number five for Manipur, that is in their team B, being defended by Will. A flag up, it would be a 60 yard hit if I am not wrong. Sixty hard hit by number three, Captain. Being checked by Joan, number three. Beautiful eleven drive by Elro hit number five. <laughs> number five was it number five or uh, not quite sure? Yes, that is El Rohit, number five. A beautiful back and drive, back and stroke from almost uh, fifty yard. The youngest player in the in the RB team. I'm so happy that the selectors of the India Team B found this young man still in his early, in his teens, having the privilege and honor to be here. Number two, that is Nick. Jorge. Jorge. Pradeep, number three, defending for India B. Adip Kumar, P.O.J. looking for El Rohit, stopped by Jorge, Joan, number three, number, number two, P.O.J. number two, P.O.J. Joan, number three, Eta Thangba, number one, Uh, 
number two next. I hope he's all right. Hozik, Gold, and Gibadu. Number Kaya, Girablu. The final chakra, the fourth and last chakra. Manipur, that is India B. Nine on the scoreboard. USA, three. The fourth and last chakra of this very exciting match. The two umpires officiating the match is Mr. George Emma, the team captain of the United Kingdom, and Major Raman Singh of the Indian Cavalry. Scoreboard showing India B, 9, USA, 3. Clock ticking. It's getting longer. That is Nick, number two. Jorge, number four. The team captain of the United States of America in pursuit of the goal with number one, El Atamba, checking in. Number two, Nick Fildon of USA from the left hand side, bringing in. Tap, and that is number one, Will Fildon. Will Fildon. And that is a beautiful goal by Will, number one with the USA from almost 40 yards from the extreme left corner to the left. A beautiful right hand stroke. The team score coming in USA 4, India B 9. Team in red, USA. The team in green is India B. El Rohit. Number five, El Rohit, the youngest player of the India team B. El Pradeep, whistleblower. Jorge, the number five, number four. Jorge. Number four, Jorge. El Pradeep, John, number three for USA, looking for Jorge. Jorge. And that is a foul call against Ipradeep. It is for the benefit of the viewers that once a person has the ball, that is his property. Nobody can intervene. He has the right of way. People in the crowd still confused as to why it was called a foul. The rules of the Puyama Polo is premise on the safety of the horse. Any move that is a threat to the injury of the pony is a foul. Certainly, you cannot cross. That is number three. Joan will be taking the hit. 30-yard John Vasquez, 
the youngest player of the US team. And that is the fifth goal for USA. USA 5, India B 9. Last and for Chaka. As I said, the format of this tournament with five teams, it is around the Robin League, which means all the teams will play four matches. The best two games with the best and the highest points will be in the final match that we played on the 29th of this number, but that is Nick. Joe, number three, Jorge, a team captain, looking for one, Jorge. Number three, Padip. Katamba, number two, number one, Jorge. That is again Nick. T. Pradeep, number four, Jorge. Defending for USA. John, a beautiful pass, and that is a will. Number two, B. Ojit. L. Rohit, number five, one of the youngest players of the India B team. Joe, that is Nick. Pradeep. It would be a race now that is uh, El Rohit, number five. Jorge. John, number three. John. Looking for Nick, number two. That is a nice bump. B.O.J. number two for India B. And uh, that will be a hit in. <laughs> well then boys, India B9, USA 5. That is the end of the game. We look forward to you at 1 p.m. The first match will be played at 1 p.m. It was a great pleasure having Lieutenant General KK Ripswall, SM VSM Chief of Staff Headquarters in Kama, as our chief guest today. It was indeed a great pleasure that we have the Indian Navy team and the IPA team in the very first ground. The second ground is uh, Manipur and uh, United States of America.